Do you want to get to a thousand subscribers fast? If you do, then you've come to the right place because I have the same goal. So let's do it. To save you some time, I went through so many videos so that you don't have to. And here are the most important points just for you. Let's start. Before we dive in, let's keep in mind that it takes on average around one to two years to reach this magical threshold of a thousand subscribers. And depending on who you ask, it takes around 164 videos to do that. There are some channels, of course, that are the exceptions, and these are the ones that you think of when you start your videos. You will be like James Jenny, for instance, but I'm quite sure that you and me, we will not. Start messy, just start. Don't overthink it, just start. Pick up the camera, just start. Start filming, just do it, okay? Go, done. It's like when you start at the university and you want to start with your PhD at the very beginning, you cannot do that. Okay, maybe a few people can, but it really is so difficult. Or you want to start with your master's thesis or even your bachelor's. It's really overwhelming because there are so many parts you have to take into consideration and you have to learn before you can get there and do this final project. And really what I've learned from my many years at the university is that when you write a paper, and it's the same for the production of YouTube videos, you have so many ideas and you narrow it down to one idea, but then there's so much information around that topic and you could make just hours and hours of content for this one topic and you're just overwhelmed and you spend so much time, so many days just researching, getting all the information and you never have the feeling that you reached the point where you have all you need because there's still more. There are so many books, there are so many papers. You can just spend months and years just reading without writing a first and single word. That being said, of course, you want to research a little bit at least, okay? Try to find out more about the topic that you want to talk about, see what other creators have created so far. Maybe you can find a gap what others didn't think about yet. Uh, maybe you can read the comments in this, these videos that are performing very well, see what people are asking for, and then you can create this video, create a product for the demand that seems to be there. When you start, you want to know your how and your who. So who are you producing videos for? Is it just for yourself or do you have actually a target audience that you picture is watching this video right now? Before you actually start filming, you want to have a sort of a structure. This can be in the form of bullet points or you can work with a full script. But if you have a full script, the delivery will not be as fluent because a lot of people cannot read scripts in a very professional way. It takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of time to write out the exact wordings of these scripts. And maybe you can just speak from the bottom of your heart. What you really want to do is to create a intriguing hook. So you really want to catch the viewer and keep him hooked until the end of the video. And this is so important because for most people, this is a big challenge and especially smaller creators and smaller channels are struggling with this because they don't know how to talk to viewers to keep them interested. You can get inspiration for this from bigger channels like Mr. Beast. He does it already in the thumbnails and then in the video. He tells you exactly what you will expect and what information you're missing right now. So recently he posted a video with some of the biggest influencers on the platform and I could not stop watching because I wanted to know who's gonna win. Is it Better Porridge? Is it someone else? Uh, I don't know. I need to view it and then it was just part one. So now I need to watch part two because I want to know. And it was really well done. So insert your hook at the first 10 seconds. So something that the people clicking on the video really want to know now that they know they don't know it. So how to get a thousand subscribers or who will win these 10,000 uh, euros or dollars or whatever, right? Depends on your content really. The hook then of course is just the beginning. You want to master storytelling. You want to be able to talk to the people watching on a very personal basis and they want to listen to you. And someone who's recently blowing up, who does it so so perfectly, uh, is Mr. Ballen, uh, Mr. Ballen. I call him Mr. Ballen, but I think he's pronounced Mr. Ballen. I'm not so sure. I think he mentioned that he's Mr. Ballen sometime, but in my head, he's Mr. Ballen. And he tells these stories, these horror stories, right? So you have these, this hook already 
um, yeah, included in the stories because you want to know what happens if someone dies or who dies and how. And then he tells it in a very descriptive way. So really, even when we're driving with a car or walking or whatever, you can just listen to it and you still want to continue and know what will happen. So I'm really addicted to this and I cannot stop watching Mr. Barnes' video. And he took a break for, I don't know, one or two weeks and it was terrible. So now he has uploaded a couple of videos and I try to not watch them. So next time when I have a couple of hours, I will just watch them all at once. Of course you want to upload consistently. This seems to be something that I might not need to emphasize, but it's really easy just to stop. After the first few videos, you spend so many hours and invested so much time and heart and blood and sweat and tears, but your videos just tank and no one really watches them. And then you stop because you didn't get any rewards, you don't get any recognition, you don't have conversation, you don't have any new subscribers, so you just stop with the video production. And then, of course, you won't grow. That's how it is. It's the same with brushing your teeth. If you just do it once or twice or three times a year, it won't do so much good. But if you do it consistently, then you might have a chance to have very nice teeth. Okay, here are three more points. Good. Now, are you ready to hear what the most important thing to focus on is, in my opinion, at the very beginning, if you're a small YouTube creator? Are you ready? It's you. And me. So it's us. It's the creators themselves. So if you don't have any big experience with storytelling, uh, with video production, with filming, with editing, with audio, then you want to learn that. And then you can really capitalize on that later. Because if you just create video after video after video, it's the same kind of quality, it will not get you very far. So use the many hours in the beginning, learn how to edit, learn how to storytell, learn how to film, learn all these things I just talked about, and then you can create good quality videos. You can step by step by step further improve. This is what I would do and this is what I will do now.